Good morning, dear friends. Welcome to WE Knowledge Channel. I am Dr. Reginam Linus, Associate Professor and HOD of Electrical Engineering Department at Sanjay Godavati University, Kolhapur, Maharashtra. This video is the introductory section about this energy conversion system. Uh, in this lecture, I am going to explain what is the, what are the main parts of the energy conversion system and what are the uh, different types of control in the energy conversion system. Especially, we have three types of control, pitch angle control, yaw control, and six speed ratio control. In this lecture, only I am concentrating what is meant by pitch angle control and what is meant by yaw control. Before understanding that, it is necessary that what are the main parts of this wind energy conversion system. So that I will give a little bit review about the parts of wind energy conversion system. Then we can go to this uh, yaw control and pitch control. So before going to this lecture, those who have not uh, till subscribe this channel, kindly subscribe it and press the bell button also, so that in the forthcoming lectures also you can easily trace out and uh, find out. Let me share my presentation. <coughs> Already, already we know this uh, different parts of wind energy conversion system. Here the rotor will be there. These are all the rotor blades will be there. You know already the vertical wind turbine how it will be. Then there is a rotor shaft it will be there. Then the brake will be there. The brake is sometimes that the wind turbine power will be wind, uh, wind velocity will be more. So that time we have to apply the brake and stop the rotation of the wind turbine. For that also we are using this type of brake. Another one, some uh, for during very less wind velocity. When the wind velocity is very less, the power production will be very less. So that that time also we will break, apply the brake and we will uh, halt this wind turbine. Wind, uh, wind turbine. Then this is a uh, low speed shaft will be there. So low speed shaft will be coupled with the gear system. The, so this is the high speed shaft. It is connected to the generator and generator control. Anemometer will be also connected. Then nozzles will be there. Here yaw the motor. Yaw the motor is used for yaw control. The reason is this is the tower. Wind turbine tower. The wind turbine tower can be rotated. For that, we need a small, small, uh, small servo motor mechanism will be available so that we can do this yaw control. Then this is the tower. Uh, so I hope it is very much clear what are the main parts. So let me go to the types of control. As I told already, we have three types of control: yaw control, pitch angle control, and tip speed ratio control. What is the yaw control? Yaw control is in the sense as like our pedestal fan. Wherever, whenever, wherever we need this uh, ventilation or wherever we need this airflow, that time we will change the heads of this pedestal fan so that we will get this air. Similarly, this yaw control, based on the wind direction, we will change the wind turbine head. If suppose uh, wind turbine wind flow is from right to left means we will, do, we will turn this wind turbine towards this right side otherwise we will turn the wind turbine to left side vice versa so that this way we will control that is called as yaw control the pitch angle control in the sense wind turbine each blade can be controllable by use of that direction of based on the quantity of the wind Wind, we will control this that is called as pitch angle control then third one is tip speed ratio control the tip speed ratio control we have to implement maximum power point tracking algorithm everything so i will explain it in the further lectures so in this <coughs> this is the yaw control i already told you in this uh, tower we have many servo motors are available see this inner diagram we can see the servo motors are available this servo motors which will it will whenever based on the wind direction which is from the wind fan or otherwise wind anemometer we will come to know where is the wind direction where how the where the wind direction and which direction wind is flowing accordingly this red arrow is shows this where how we can turn this uh, Wind turbine. So, whether it is left side or towards the right side, so this is called as uh, yaw control. So, then as an electrical engineer, I, I think we cannot be able to do much about in this yaw control. Uh, but in the servo motor control, any deficiency deficiency is there based on that one can think. Then this is called as pitch angle control. In the pitch angle control, I will let you know. See, this each wind blade can be changed. Which wind uh, the wind turbine blade can be uh, directions can be changed based on the wind quantity 
wind quantity. What is wind quantity? Wind velocity quantity. I will let you know now. Assume that now you are looking the looking the uh, this uh, class, looking this lecture. That direction is the wind velocity direction. Assume the direction in which you are looking this uh, PPT or looking this webinar, this looking looking this lecture is called as the direction of wind velocity. So what happens is that the direction of wind velocity, the blades are here perpendicular. The blades are here perpendicular. So if the blades are here perpendicular, what will happen? All the wind which will hit the blade, so the behind this wind turbine, the wind velocity will be very less. All the wind turbine velocity, wind velocity will be hit in this uh, blade. The reason is this perpendicular. So this is called as pitch angle is zero degree. So when when we have to make it this pitch angle zero degree, whenever we that wind turbine and generators are sufficient to access accept all the wind power, that time we will make this wind turbine uh, angle as wind uh, pitch angle as uh, zero degree. Then assume this is the case that the same direction, the direction in which you are looking the head of this wind turbine is the direction of wind velocity. But what happens? This blade is now parallel with this. So parallel with this wind flow, wind flow. So that what happens? All the wind with the wind which is which will not be allowed to hit this wind blade, instead of that, it will go behind this wind turbine. So this is called this position is called as pitch angle is 90 degree. So we should know when we will fix this pitch angle is 0 degree, when we will pitch, uh, fix this pitch angle 90 degree. Once again I repeat, whenever the wind turbine blade is perpendicular with the wind flow direction, that is called as pitch angle is uh, 0 degree. Whenever this wind flow, uh, wind, uh, wind turbine blade which is parallel to this uh, wind turbine velocity, that is called as pitch angle will be 90 degree. So this is pre previously this reference of our pitch angle is this is the reference that is why we are making pitch angle is 0 degree this is now perpendicular that is why we are making pitch angle is 90 degree <coughs> let me explain now with this diagram you will come to know when where we can now yaw control i am not going to explain anything about yaw control only i am going to explain about pitch angle control where we can use this with this type of uh, control strategies assume I am, I am, in this x-axis, all the x-axis values are same. The reason is, wind velocity is increasing from cutting, wind velocity cutting, and then it is increasing to rated, then it is increasing to cut out. In this three, all the three cases, it is like that, V cutting, V rated, V cut out. So what is meant by V cutting? The V cutting in the sense, below V cutting, wind velocity is below the V cutting, the power production in the wind turbine, it is not sufficient to uh, make, the more, make the electrical machine as a generator. Some cases, ideal cases, what will happen? That it will draw the power from the grid. So this is the loss for the uh, uh, last for this wind form uh, that wind loss of it is the last for a power system what happen it will draw the power to this uh, draw for the power from the power system so that that is called as that time what we will do we will not allow that wind turbine to hit this uh, to hit this uh, wind blade for that time what we will do we will make this pitch angle is equal to 90 degree so that is why in this assume if based on this wind turbine region i have written here this is the p region p to q region p to q region so now your pitch angle is we are making it as 90 degree so as the pitch angle is 90 degree then we will apply break also therefore wind turbine it will not rotate but in practical cases what happened the wind turbine wind turbine will not be connected to the grid directly that it will be it is removed from this uh, power grid and what they will do due to that overcome the inertia wind turbine will try to uh, allow to rotate to overcome the inertia then only whenever wind velocity reaches cutting wind speed we can get the power and we can feed the power to the grid so that till this normal ideal cases 90 v 0 to v cutting speed we will make pitch angle is equal to 90 degree so whenever the pitch angle is 90 degree see the second diagram there is no output power output power will be zero then what about the turbine speed? Turbine speed will also not rotate, therefore turbine speed will be zero. 
Then next to see the region where the QR region, the QR region, what happened? Wind turbine, wind velocity reaches the cutting wind speed. That means cutting wind speed in the sense uh, the wind speed at which power can be generated by the wind turbine. That is called as V cutting wind speed. Normally V cutting wind speed is 2.5 to 3 meter per second. So V rated wind turbine wind speed is approximately 12 to 13 meter per second. V rated. So what is the V rated? The wind velocity at which power production from the wind turbine it will reach as the rated value of the wind turbine so maybe wind generator having a separate power rating so at the wind velocity is reaches v rated that time it will get the maximum power that is called as wind turbine that is called as uh, v rated velocity so till V rated velocity, what happened? We need all the wind velocities. Whenever wind velocity, wind velocity keep on increases from 3 meter per second to 12 meter per second, all the wind can be hit to this uh, blade and the blade can be rotated. So in this region, what we want in this case, what we will make, we will make this pitch angle is in this position. So that pitch angle is 0 degree. So now this is the pitch angle is 0 degree. That is why pitch angle now uh, in your this region Q2R pitch angle will be 0 degree as long as this concept we can you apply for maximum power point tracking I will explain separate video in this separate video how we can control Q and R now I am this lecture I am only concentrating pitch angle control so that now we cut into V rated as long as wind velocity is increases output power is increasing turbine optimum speed is also increasing so till this QR anyway once again repeat the operation region between Q and R I will explain in another one video then then next region is R2S this is the region where R2S R2S region what happened already wind velocity reaches the rated uh, speed rated speed so if the wind velocity increases and the blade is in the zero position pitch angle is zero position so that this wind turbine may not uh, it will suffer from the high winter wind velocity moreover this wind turbine may get damage so due to that what i have happened i will just slightly increase this pitch angle and try to make slightly increase from 0 to 20 degree, 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree like that. Then I will reach this to maximum value. So what happened? It will be controlled by using this so that a constant power control can be happened in between R2S. How I can make it constant power control? By controlling, by turning this pitch angle such a way that we will not allow the wind turbine to get more power beyond the rated power of the wind turbine. So that in this region between R to S, here the pitch angle is gradually increasing and maintained to zero, maintained to maximum value of 90 degree. Then it will be reaches here the constant output power. Similarly, turbine speed also constant. We are maintaining all the time. Power is maintaining constant by, by, uh, by maintaining the speed constant. So now this based on that we are adjusting this similarly input torque also we are adjusting so that we can maintain this power is constant. So at the, at the region of yes at the point of yes what will happen wind velocity reaches above the cutout wind speed. So normally cutout wind speed will be 25 meter per second. So till uh, we rated to 30 meter per second to 25 meter second, we can gradually increase the pitch angle. After that, if he increase further, again it is making to 90 degrees. Since after that he cannot, uh, that wind turbine it will not extend the wind velocity increase in wind velocity more than 25 meter per second. So that time again I will make pitch angle it will be. 90 degree pitch angle is 90 degree means this uh, this position so that power it will all the wind will goes behind the wind turbine therefore automatically output power come down to zero similarly in this case wind turbine speed also come down to zero at the point at the at the level of yes so pitch angle control wherever we are we are doing pitch angle control only in this region in between pitch angle control is suitable only in the region between 0 to B cutting and 
the region between this uh, above the rated wind speed above the rated from here onwards this pitch angle let me correct this uh, here itself so this region where we can make it this pitch angle will be the pitch angle control can be possible in this region we can make so this what uh, this this, this is the region till this region we can make uh, pitch angle will be uh, pitch angle control will be possible so till this pitch angle is gradually increasing and making to 90 then till the, in this region p to q pitch angle is making it as 90 degree so with this uh, i would like to conclude uh, the today's presentation in this next lecture i am going to explain in this matlab simulation how we can understand the pitch angle control is varying so i hope this uh, this lecture is very much understandable and you can understand the concept also please don't forget to subscribe this channel as well as and press the bell button so that in the next lecture you whenever i think within two within a couple of two days i will publish this next lecture how one can understand the pitch angle control in this matlab simulation wish you all the best thank you